Okay, we're, we're here for the final final format of the Grand Championship, Legacy. Uh, unfortunately, my co-commentator Alex had to go, so it's just me for this one. Uh, Bob has kept his full hand of seven and Oliver has six and scryed with a top card to the bottom. Uh, I have to preempt this um, this game with, e even though I'm in the Legacy final, I have, have no idea about Legacy. So I'm kind of flying blind. Well, I, I, I can queer on Ranger, so I can probably take a pretty good guess and say all of us on Elves. It's a sandstone needle for Bob. The, sand, the sandstone needle is comes in with uh, two depletion counters. You remove a depletion count, tap it, remove a depletion counter, and add double red. I'm not sure what the hold up is here. Just waiting for El uh, Oliver, who, who did have connection issues during standard. So he casts the Green Sun Zenith for a, a value of zero to find Dryad Arbor, so that, that's his second uh, second mana source. Oh, no, actually, the card that seems to be all rage with finance speculators at the moment, Guy's Cradle. At this time, he... Uh, cast another green sun zenith for value of one this is all post combat He finds a heritage druid. He's got two cards left in hand when he passes the turn. There's the seething song for Bob, which adds five mana, five red mana to his mana pool. Sneak attack. So th these are the legacy games that I think go very fast. So he does have the mana up uh, to cast it as well. <laughs> oh, that's a nice pull. The Titan will take down all three of the the elves. 
So it'll, it'll do, when it enters the battlefield, it does three damage, divide as you choose, and then when it attacks, it also does three damage. So Oliver is a good response here. The Quiron Ranger can return a, uh, a forest you control to its owner's hand and untap a creature, so you can s at least save the Dryad Arbor. But he's going to take nine damage here, and with only three cards in hand, this is a problem. So now, uh, end of turn from the sneak attack, Bob has to sacrifice the Titan. But all Oliver down to ten life with four cards. So he can, he can run the Arbor back. Bob will four cards in hand and see what he can cast with sneak attack the next turn. Oh, no, no other plays for Oliver. What's he got? Four cards in hand. Oh, a chalice. He's going to cast a chalice for one. And now activate sneak attack. And this time it's a world spine worm, so he's going to activate sneak attack twice. I think we're going to game two pretty quickly. The World Spine Worm has uh, trample, so more than enough damage, and a Worm Coil Engine. Both of those uh, with haste, so he's got 21 damage on the board, one a Trampler. <coughs> and I don't see how Oliver can get out of this one. He's only got 10 life, so the trample is more than enough to trample over the arbor and do the damage. And that's it. Uh, Bob takes game one. <laughs>